Cardi. Did you have a super good sleep last night? Would you like a banana? Good morning guys, it is Sunday, we are up. Cardi slept super late today, so I'm not complaining. Um, just getting him some breakfast, getting the dog some breakfast, and getting me a coffee. I have left the baby gate open, so let's go get that. Um, today, I need to get some washing detergent. That's my number one task <laughs> because I ran out and it's and I needed to do the laundry, uh, the nappy main wash. So I need to sort that out sooner rather than later. So probably grab that after Cardi's had some breakfast and he's all cleaned up and definitely have a coffee. I also need to descale the coffee machine. So there's that as well. So a bit, bit of cleaning things today. And I'm going to film what's in my nappy bag and folding laundry and a topic. But I haven't thought of the topic yet, so we will get there. Thank you, Mr. I found a carrot. Okay. Yeah. Should I let Winston in and feed him? some lunch I just did an outro to yesterday's vlog because I'm just getting the yogurt because it was short but not short enough to justify doing a coffee and laundry or something like that I am just getting Carter to finish up his lunch then we are going to film a what's in my nappy bag slash let's pack up my nappy bag because I'm sick of having it like just all over the place I'd prefer to just be able to grab it and go so it's sort of a sorting out my life sort of um, situation as well as getting a video filmed um, I ended up redoing my eyeshadow from my first attempt I don't know if I'll include the clip but I went with like a yellow and a red and an orange tried to do a half cut crease it just didn't work so I've ended up with like a bronzy not bronzy a sort of champagne-y color and brown so okay. do with that what you will if my camera would ever focus on my face that would be lovely and as always tons of blush tons of highlighter And just a nude lip because it's just easier to have a nude lip than try and deal with a red or a pink or black it's just too much effort for me so let's get this lunch finished maybe make myself another coffee so I can get this sorted nice and quickly it is getting hot and I don't know if it's supposed to be hot today I think Todd said it was meant to be 30 degrees 
but it's 23 degrees in the house as you can see by the blue wall we're set up ready to film this video so um, I'll film that and then we'll be back to your regularly scheduled programming <laughs> I feel like third time might be the charm with this video. So, this is my third time recording this because Carter has been a lot. That's what we're going with, a lot. He's crawling in everything, he's getting into everything, he's knocking everything over. And I don't have a large space at the moment because we've got all the laundry next to me. And that's, that's tomorrow's issue. Can't be bothered today. So, we are going to talk about nappy bags and packing my nappy bag so I don't have to deal with it every time we leave the house. Starting with this right here is my nappy bag. It's from the Australian nappy brand called Bear and Boho. It's their minimalist style in the color stone. So it's a greyish brownie khaki sort of colour. They also have a olive colour. It is a backpack style and it has these stroller clips which I absolutely love when it's not too overloaded. Also has this pocket which I really should utilise more for putting my phone in. On the front it's a flat with two buttons to fasten and then there's this pocket down here which doesn't fasten at all. To close the bag you've got a zipper and then the inside has multiple pockets as well as a waterproof lining and then there's just one big main section. So I'll put that over there for now. What I figured we would do is go through each sort of individual item um, probably starting with any sort of bag and then we can pack things into the individual bags because that's how I sort of want to sort it. What I am seeing in front of me is this. This is a, I think it's like a little clutch purse from You Buy Cotex that I got years ago. Um, but it's just a little faux leather, leather um, pouch which I figured I could keep any sort of makeup-y or skincare-y items in and it's just something with a bit of a strap so you can grab it and go. Next I have this teeny tiny wet bag from a brand called Flossy Tots. I actually got this before Carter was born for my reusable breast pads in Tasmania and what I am going to use this for is breast pads and reusable pads and panty liners. Next, I have a Designer Bums mini wet bag in the print Magic Dance. So this is a labyrinth print and it's got a big David Bowie on the front. Love it. Um, so I haven't fully decided what's going in this one, but we will get there. Next thing I have, my sister actually got Carter for Christmas, so I don't actually know where it's from. I think maybe eBay. This is a nappy pod and it's got a lovely leafy print, which she knows I am obsessed with. So this will hold the spare nappy that I have as well as being stacked up when we leave for the day. Next, I have a full size Designer Bums wet bag in the print Lemon Drop. I don't know why it is slightly wet, it smells like water, so nothing. So I use these to store dirty nappies when I have them and they also have interchangeable straps so that it can be hung over the pram if need be or I also just use them to grab and go, I've got one in the car at the moment just packed with stuff to go to the maternal child health nurse. I have another mini wet bag from Designer Bums. This is in the print Silver Linings. And this was a very, very popular print. 
the proceeds of which went to panda or perinatal anxiety and depression um so they're a helpline and they help mums through postnatal depression and anxiety i have another designer bums mini wet bag in lemon drop and one in thai constellation those are all the wet bags that i have in front of me I also have a shopping bag that came to us in the post randomly. I think it's a new initiative called Boomerang Bags. But fun fact about me is I always forget my shopping bags. So whenever I go shopping, I end up buying more and more reusable bags and I'd yeah. like to stop that. So these came just in time. They're kind of cool. They've got like a calico front to them. And then they appear to be made out of um, old curtain material or something like that. So the next thing I have in my bag <laughs> is my cloth wrap, which is from the brand called Vixa. And this is an older one. I think I got it on sale because they were going out of this style. It's in a maroon sort of color. And this is the one that you have to sort of wrap up yourself. I also keep in the bag, I haven't folded it up yet, so it's all a hot mess, my ring sling, also from Vixa. Um, this one is a current style, it's a grid print and it's a taupey sort of colour. And I love it because it's great for the airport, for when you're boarding and stuff. And it's got a pocket, so you can put anything that you need. I have got two reusable change mats from Designer Bums. One is in the print Lemon Drop, which is not folded up. And the other one is in Tire Constellation, which is folded up. So I'm winning on one front. I have got Carter's swimmers in here, just in case there is any point in time where we're out and about and we decide to go for a swim. I also have my Polaroid camera because one of my goals for this year was to use it more. I've had it for several years and haven't really used it all that much. I have my swimmers for the same reason Carters are in here. I have got this swaddle in this mustard print with sort of a starbursty or dandelion print all over it. And I use these either as a feeding cover, which is rarely, or I'll also use it as a light blanket or cover for Carter when he's in the pram. Next, I have two dribble bibs and two regular bibs just in case we need them. I have a pair of socks in here as well. Also have a pair of leggings for Mr. Carter. The nappy that died the other day, I've just chucked it in here to be put in the bag because it's better to have something than be in a pinch. I have two packets of tissues, two pairs of sunglasses for myself because I have so many pairs of sunglasses and they constantly go missing. I've got both Carter's pairs of sunglasses in here, some nappy rash cream. I've got three face washes, which I use as cloth wipes. I have two spoons, one which is his regular every day for his He's having fun at the And then another, which is just a basic plastic -y spoon. I have got sunscreen, which is a must-have in Australia, particularly SPF 50. Um, the sun is very intense in here and you do need the stronger SPF. This is from the Cancer Council. It works, I guess. I don't know how to review it sunscreen, but it works. Oh, and this is the moisturizing one. I've got a Dove roll-on deodorant because sometimes you never know when you're going to forget to put deodorant on. I've got Banana Boat Baby roll-on sunscreen for Mr. Carter. Um, also SPF 50. I've got a click-on ring light for my phone. I've got a pawpaw ointment for your lips, which I think my sister left in my bag, but it's mine now. I've got this mini sample of Dream Cream from Lush, which smells so good and it's it's great for just your arms if you need it. I've got a Pokemon hand cream which is almost empty. 
And then for when that is actually empty, I've got a shea butter from the body shop. I've got hand sanitizer for any nappy changes that are sort of more on the go than a general nappy change. Got two cloth pads, three cloth panty liners, a pair of cloth breast pads, another lip balm. I've got my two favorite Jeffree Star lipsticks in Gemini and Christmas Cookie. I've got Mr. Carter's teaser, which is also a toothbrush. I've got our zoo memberships in here as well. A little musical toy for Mr. Carter. I've got a handful of different snacks for both myself and Carter. Got my water bottle, which I found just earlier. I have a face moisturizer just in case I need it. My wallet. I've got some spare hair ties. My iPhone earphones and my iPhone adapter for my tripod. Just in case I run out of battery on this guy, I can whack my iPhone. So the next step will be packing this all into the bag. So I think I'll start. I think I'll start with this water bottle so he stops slamming it on the ground. So I'm actually just going to slide that in. It's empty at the moment. And I need to remember to fill it before we go anywhere. Slide that in just in one of the side bits and we'll fold up the shopping bag. And I think I might roll that up and pop that in this little front pocket here so it's accessible. My hand sanitizer and just a hand cream. Because I barely use it, I'm just going to chuck my wallet in the bottom. I think I only want it because it has my driver's license maybe in it. And the answer to that is no, I do not have my driver's license. So I don't know where my driver's license is. I'm just going to chuck it in there. But now we can sort it out later. Oh, there's this little pocket here. Drop that in. What I might do with the changing bag is see if we can fit a one of the change mats in there. So at least it's a grab and go situation. I don't think it's gonna fit with all this other stuff. Let's give it a go, but not too much of a go because I don't wanna rip the bag. There we go. That is a complete change kit. And I'll pop it in here. What I'll also pop in this nappy pod is the swimwear just so it's all in one spot. I'll have to add his swimming nappy to this because both are in the wash at the moment. I think I'll also add the leggings into here. I don't know, I think I feel like I had a t-shirt to go with this, but I'll also add a t-shirt to this. So that's all ready to go in. And I feel like that's the kind of thing that needs to go in first because it's quite chonk. Grab this wet bag, pop the snacks and the spoons and the feeding bibs in here. Make up self carry items. I don't know what he's got over there. all these little bits into here. So what I might do is I'll only keep one change mat and one um, wrap in here. So I tend to use this one a bit more out and about. So I'll pop that in this little section on the side here. Can't really see what I'm doing, but it's a struggle. Pop my camera in. just beside the big nappy pod. And because I just use this for dirty nappies, roll that up, squish that just in there. Uh, so in this one, I've got my sunglasses, his sunglasses, and our zoo stuff in here. I'll also pop the sunscreens in here if the big one will fit. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'll put my earphones just in the front here as well. The socks I will pop into this little section here with my wallet and pop one of these packs of tissues in the front here. And then we've got our mini 
mini mini wet bag for a pad, a liner and the breast pads because it was too cool before. So I'm just popping the packed wet bags on top here. So we've got our snacks, we've got our, um, I guess, outdoor zoo kit. <laughs> Was that all there? Oh, and the other one's already in there. And then we've got a spare mini wet bag and the self-care sort of items. On top, I'm popping my, oh, the bibs. And then we've got our camera e-gear. And I'm just popping those on top of the water bottle. Um, Carter's run off with teether. So just popping the toy in. And it's looking very full at the moment. <laughs> but that's life with a baby, isn't it? As long as you can get it zipped up and it's not breaking the zip, you're sweet. Okay, so that is my nappy bag all packed up. I'm glad that I admitted a couple of the items like the, the spare change mat and the other, um, the ring sling. So now I just have the wrap and just pretty much essential items that I can just grab and go. The only thing I really need to add to this is any further cloth nappies that we need for the day or anything else that we might need or take out for that matter. So thank you for joining me in me repacking my nappy bag. I hope it gave you some ideas as to what to put in your nappy bag if you're a mum or just enjoyed watching if you're not. So we're going to go back to our normal regular day and I hope you continue watching. That was a goddamn mission to film. Like absolute mission. Mr. Carter has decided that he does not want to allow me to do anything today. Um, but I got it done. This is very full now. Um, I'm glad I've got a water bottle in here because that was the one thing that I would always buy when I'm out, a bottle of water. And I'm wanting to sort of reduce the amount of plastic bottles that we buy. Um, I do reuse them, but you know, if I can have a water bottle on me, then I'm not going to buy any. So I need to charge this battery again because that took over an hour to do. My mother has sent me a whole heap of photos, so I need to find out if she needs something done with them or what the go is, but I need to also take a thumbnail for this video and finishing editing yesterday's video. So we will be back in a little while and probably have some playtime. And Carter is trying to pull all my books out of my bookshelf. Please help. Hi guys, I thought that I would film a bit more. However, I loaded up the footage and it was quite long already. So going to end the video here. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos from us every day. And we... We'll see you tomorrow, which is today. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They're all Kizzy Joy, same way it's spelled here. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Say bye-bye.